Nate Court Pressure Cooker. I, I loved it when I first got it, but I just, when Danny took off for college, and you know, and, and um, you know, my mom doesn't uh, eat as much as, as they used to. You know, I used to make all these big batches of things. We just didn't, I didn't use it anymore. Yeah. I donated, actually gave it to two friends of Danny's, college girls that are buddies of his that wanted a pressure cooker. I said, listen, you guys take this because you, she loves to make lots of big meals for her family. Sure. And I went and got this two quart last time you were on air. And I will tell you, it's a lifesaver. I use Isn't it all great? the time. It's the perfect size. And you'd be amazed at how big two quarts of food really is. You yeah. know, when you get two quarts of milk, that's a lot of food, right? What do we love about pressure cookers? Well, first of all, this one, I love the size. It's perfect for empty nesters, or if you're making for four to six people versus six to 12, which the larger ones are, and we have those if you wanna go online. But I love this, oh. A, for people that have never tried pressure cooking. Yes. And B, for people who have but need one that's a little more compact. So yep. what is pressure cooking all about? Well, here's the deal. We've known about it for many, many years. Our grandparents probably had pressure cookers. They're a little scary, because you had to lock it down, and then you had to release the steam and do all this weird stuff kind of sideways and backwards, and you had to know really how, what you were doing. Yeah. These are easy. You close the lid, you lock it, you let it go. It won't open until the steam pressure is released. What does steam pressure do? Well, think about it. If you got nowhere to go, you go back in. Right? <laughs> that's and that's, right. What, that's what steam does. That sounds like my so, holidays. <laughs> that's exactly right. So if you put wine in with your pot roast and the liquid can't go nowhere, neither can the steam, it goes into the meat and it breaks down the tougher parts of the meat and it makes it melt in your mouth tender. Mm -hmm. It does that with veggies. It does that with chicken. Whatever you do will be moist and tender. I said, and I think I've coined this, all day flavor in a fraction of the time. I love all that. Day flavor with a fraction of the time. time. That's 66 what it is. percent last yes. time to be exact, yeah. actually. Um, and that what's so cool about that is listen, we are all busy. We all have work and activities, and maybe yeah. you know, you're out there and you forgot to pull something out for dinner. This is a way that you can pop something in, and depending upon what you're cooking, it could be five minutes. Um, this actually, this pork roast that we just did was about an hour. So within an hour, we have this was almost three pounds you know what it takes of pork me? roast. If I put that in my in my yeah. cooker in the oven, three and a half hours. Of course. Three yes. and a half hours for fork tender. Totally. Yeah. And, and to have it to pull apart like this, I mean, look, I just did all those nachos, so maybe you're thinking about tailgating right now and having people over. Um, I did three sliders, and I still have meat left inside. So what I love about this is we call this the perfect size. And the reason it's the perfect size is because depending upon what you're cooking, this will feed anywhere from one to four very comfortably. If you're doing things like appetizers and things like that for parties, oh, you're going to yeah. get way more than Sweetest. that meatballs, yummy. Oh, yum, yum, yum. So here, I'm gonna leave this open because um, for my next one, for my next trick, um, <laughs> I want to add some of that to it. So oh. this is the best way to do pasta. And you go, what? Because have you ever had pasta on the stove and then the pasta just starts boiling over and that yeah. water's getting everywhere? Yeah. You never have that problem with pressure cooking. So here I actually did my pasta in six minutes. I put a little cream in there. So you do two parts cream. You make the best macaroni and cheese. <laughs> and you know what I love? <laughs> it's so simple. Oh my gosh. Okay, so yes, and in a matter of minutes. So now I'm just gonna add the cheese at the end. So if you wanted to add Gruyere, if you wanted to add American cheese, if you wanted to add, you know, goodness, Swiss. I mean, you could add whatever you want. It because it's nice and hot, it'll just go ahead and melt it's right in. It's getting gooey. It's getting gooey. Just keep rolling it around. <laughs> look, 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 look. But you know, what I love is that the mess is only the bowl. That's it. That's all you have to clean up. And for me, I'm telling you, I have stopped getting out the pots. Look at all that yum, yum cheese. I have stopped getting everything on the stove top and going, now my pressure cooker is my best friend, I swear. So here I'm actually going to do what is, I guess, it's more than one serving. There, this mean, is a lot of mac and cheese. This for is a happy you know, serving. Well, two quarts of mac and cheese is a lot. It really is. Right? I mean, so look, this huge bowl, and I still have a whole bunch left over. Get that cheese in there. Whoop! Okay. Um, and if you want, come over here. Let's not, it's not finished. There's a lot of, oh. Guy. She's gonna give me some pulled pork. That's yeah, not put finished. that in there too. Okay, boom. Okay, now it's finished. Check that out. All right, oh hold on. my gosh. Let me just show you. How close can you get to that bite? That's right there. Look at that. I want you to look at that. <laughs> that is just silly. 
Are you freezing right yeah, now? It's I know, it's like over. anytime I see that, I think about because it was 24 when I left my house in Atlanta today. Um, it's even in the 40s here in Florida. So I'll tell you, the things that you're going to want to do right now is a lot of those comfort foods. We want to do those pork roasts. We want to do our mac and cheeses. We want to do <laughs> our Stupid. stews. I've been doing tons of stews. That's the longest. This makes it simple. Noodle. So while you're enjoying that, I want to show you, please notice how the lid is, I'm hands free and this lid's been sitting right here. It's because the lid has the ability to stand up like this. Now, mm. one thing about most pressure cookers on the market, marketplace is usually when the lid comes off you're trying to like find a place to put it right. so of course because there's you know the liquid and the steam inside a lot of times you're getting water everywhere so what I love about this is it actually hinges up right here and stays there for you which is really great when you're doing uh, yeah. appetizers or serving um, now it comes right back down when I'm cooking you'll hear it kind of go and it's kind of yeah. like sucking up into place right that's the ring inside that we'll talk about in a second and then you just lock it once you've locked it then at the top here if we can get this shot we have a pressure side and a steam side. Now this is the gasket part. This is the part that makes it different than your grandmother's pressure cooker. So steam side would be for when you want to release and for when you want to do slow cooking. And this is for when you want to do pressure. So you'll make sure it's lined up to pressure. Then you're going to come down here and let's talk about how easy this is to use. This literally has eight different functions in one. So don't let the two quart size fool you. This does all the same things that those six quarts and eight quarts do all day long. So now here we want to go to my menu and you'll see that I have pressure high pressure low. I have my slow cook option. Or is that my keep warm option? Yes, my keep warm, my slow cook. Then over here is my brown. Now this is really important if you're gonna do meats. Always try to sear those first. That's gonna add a little extra layer of caramelization to your meats and add that extra flavor. Over here is our chili stew button, which I use a lot of. And it's gonna automatically take you to about 15 minutes. Eggs, six minutes to eggs. And this is also your rice cooker. That's how easy. So I would pick whatever it is that I wanna do and then I would literally hit start and then this would start coming up to pressure. That's All how right. easy this Let is. Let me, well, I'm gonna take a quick sec to tell you that this could sell out. Um, in some of the colors. Okay. I have the red that you're looking at there comes in black. Beautiful. It comes in b blue. And then what's, is that a, like a rose goldy color? What color is this one here? Uh, that's taupe. taupe. That's taupe. So uh, we have those colors available, but, but uh, that's taupe. the good news. Bad news, huge customer pick, read the reviews. Okay, I want you to read about it. I love this machine. I think this machine is brilliant. First of all, because just like we, we earlier when Mark was here, we had a smaller uh, version of a Try Me cast iron pan. Because yeah. not everybody has ever, not people, some people are like, pressure cooker, that sounds scary. Exactly. No, it is, it is you. your best friend. It's easier to cook in a press, pressure cooker than it is in any other device because you really can't screw it up. The only thing you gotta remember is to create pressure, you need to have liquid in there. Yep. Some sort of liquid. So I'll give you, as, as you are revealing that beautiful cake, I will tell um. you, let me give you, here's an easy recipe, you ready? Go and get the cheapest cut of beef or pork, yep. preferably with a bone in it, okay? And get it, you know, something about two or three pounds. Put it in there, all right? If it's pork and you wanna do some, uh, you wanna do barbecue, sprinkle it with about a, a one you know, like jar of barbecue sauce and put a little bit of uh, water or stock in there. That's it. Close the lid, let it go an hour. It'll be completely fork tender, it'll taste delicious. If you wanna do pot roast, which is my other favorite, take any cut, kind of cut of meat, uh, you know, preferably a bottom round, top round, whatever. If you can get one with a bone in it, better, because bone is flavor. Put it in there, half a cup of red wine, one of those packages of French onion soup mix, and maybe a quart of chicken stock or water, a carrot, an onion, and a handful of mushrooms. Close the dang lid and wait about 45 minutes. Done. When you open that up and you put that stuff over egg noodles, yep. with a little dollop of sour cream, I know it sounds weird, but it works. It's really good. Okay, you were talking about the, the beef sour and the before, cream. He's right. and the, he had me try it it's last It's like stroganoff. Get out! It's, it is like stroganoff. And you are a you are a rock star because people are like, where did you learn to make pot roast? You're and like, the, I did it a pressure and the cook. flavor. My pot roasts were terrible before I started pressure yeah. cooking. I'm gonna tell you straight up. You guys have seen me in the kitchen for 10 years, but there's always those certain things we're just good at, and then there's yeah. things that we're not very good at. And I always had a hard time with meats. This makes you virtually like you cannot mess you up with can't. this. Because again, what he was saying, and I want to describe that, what's happening is here you have, and this is the bowl that comes out. This is the only thing you really need to clean and you're gonna take off your ring when you're done here so the ring pops out for cleaning as well I yeah. would not dishwasher this I would just let it rinse soak, it. just rinse it because yeah. this is what keeps the pressure inside and then that pops right back on so for cleaning a little wipe down just keep your guy nice and clean but what's nice about this you're just loading the ingredients you always want to make sure you have at least a cup of some sort of liquid 
And then you close, you lock, you choose, you start. At the end when you're done, you can do something called a quick release or a natural release. If you leave it on its own, this will go to a keep warm and it'll actually keep warm for up to eight hours, which is great. They busted me eating. Oh gosh, she's like. I can't stop. It's really good though. Oh um, so in your, and it'll keep warm for up to eight hours, but if you want a quick release, this will be over on the pressure side. You just pop it over to steam. Now the steam will start to come out, but it will not release until this little gadget guy pops down and you'll hear it go pop. And when it pops down, that's your safety, basically. And what I like to do, FYI, is I like to just throw a towel on top of it. So I just go, as I release it, I just throw a towel on top. And within a few moments, it releases. You hear it clink, and then your food is done. That is all you have to do. Now, for recipes, we're going to start you off Oh, my with gosh. Some. Yeah. Here, well, you get everything you need to get out of the gate. Absolutely. This is the unit, and I really wanted, I'm going to move the yes. little card out of the way so you can see so it clear. That. This is what I wanted to show you. This is the perfect size, in my opinion, because I, I find I like to do, I, I do as many side dishes in this as I do entrees, yeah. because I love one of my favorite things of all time, which is really good if you're on a diet, is steamed artichokes. Whole They're artichokes. So good if you've never had them. They before. take a year to eat, so you don't eat fast. Yeah. You get a little bit of food, but it's so delicious. so delicious. It's great when you're on a diet. I take two, put them in there, put about an inch and a half, two inches of water. Sure. The old way I used to do it is I put them on a stove top and put a lid on. Yeah. They would get all over because they have to boil. Sure. For like an hour they have to cook. It's crazy. In here it's a matter of minutes. And think about the amount of heat difference that you're using if you have your stove on for an hour versus having this 300 one for left an in hour. red, by the way, that's going to sell out. The first. other thing I love doing, yeah. uh, my mashed potato game has changed. I'm going to tell you my secret. I do half mashed pota actual potatoes and half cauliflower. So I'm actually doing a cauliflower mash. And the thing about it is, is that lowers your calorie intake, mm. but it also adds a little pop of flavor to my mashed potatoes. I love it and all I do is I put half potatoes half mash right in here and I actually put them up on the rack so you're actually getting the rack as well so for things like um uh, if you want to do uh stuffed peppers if you want to do like your artichokes you just put oh, them on the rack what'd you do did you make chili we made a turkey chili now oh this recipe gosh, is in the book that, that you're that getting looks, that looks great okay so whether you want to do beans or corn or you know you want to add chicken or you want to add beef or you want to add turkey I, I never mean, put corn in my chili that sounds like a really good idea well, that's kind of like the tips no well I, you know what I because I make because <laughs> I make dang good cornbread. That, oh, that's why. so it goes with but it. But I could do that as well. Totally. By the way, you could make cornbread in here. Yes, you. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. You saw me do a cake just a minute ago. I know. Here, you, well, you're pretty amazing. Anyway. Look how beautiful. So you're going to get several bowls out of here. So again, this would be good for up to four people for sure um, if you're talking about soup. And sometimes I like not having like a ton of leftovers. So if you want to make your soup and have it be day two soup, on day one, here's the thing. When you were talking about what happens in here is that it, it the, the water, the liquid is turning to steam. The steam can't go anywhere because when the lid is on this, it's trapped, right? So where is that steam going? It's going back into the food. So if that's your soup, it's infusing those flavors faster. So you're getting so, two day soup. I always call it are second you, day soup on you, the first day. Are you talking about a time machine? I know. Is that <laughs> what you're talking about right pretty, now? Pretty much, pretty <laughs> much. You're, Let me just you're tell you this. Quicker. You know, when you buy, I said this, <laughs> earlier when we were talking about our today's special and we were talking about our lazy boy um uh, recliner if you start with a really good product yeah a really good one it's kind of hard to muck it up it really is and with a pressure cooker like this with all the features all you got to do is put some tough stuff in there with some liquid and it's going to be tender that's that's pretty much it but even if you don't have tough stuff if you want to do noodles if you want to do soups or stews or chilies if you get a little oh. maybe you got a little chicken you know a little little three pound chicken i they did. make a three pound chicken i did yeah, of they probably they do, do, right? A little, 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 little game hen or something. Yeah. I did, I do frozen. You can get a regular, like, rotisserie chicken in there. Frozen chicken breasts, I actually put them in, and I did just a little bit of barbecue sauce, cooked right. them for 30 minutes, and it was absolutely delicious. So here we did a pork roast, or a pot roast, sorry, and what's great about pot roast is, again, similar thing. This is something that would take about two to two and a half hours to get this perfect if you were doing it in the oven or if you were doing, I mean, look at this. Oh All right, you God. ready? You know what I'm going to do. What? You know I'm going to do this. Oh, you're doing the sour cream? Here's what I'm going to tell you. All right? This is that true. That is sour cream. He is right about all this, All right? Guys. And what I'm going to say is all you that are making a face, trust me on the sour cream. <laughs> you're all making a face. Trust me on the sour cream on the pot roast because it just, you know what it is? It's dang stroganoff, man. It's so good. It's so good. And it has a lot less Whoa. fat than butter. And then you can kind of move it over to the taters there so you don't have to put the butter on the potatoes. But I would put the butter on the I potatoes. Am 
still going, and look I still have dimes, but look at how tender. It's just I gotta pulling get my right fork. apart. I'm making a mess over here, but it's pulling right apart. So, you know, whether you want to do uh, your meats for dinner, whether you want to do your side dishes, if you're a household that already has a larger pressure cooker, sure. I have a six-quart pressure cooker, and I have this one. During the holidays, it was my lifesaver. I would have one job going in the bigger pressure cooker, maybe like with the meats or something, and then I had my potatoes going on over here. So I was knocking out potatoes, by the way, those mashed potatoes I was telling you about, six minutes, done, mm. perfect every single time. And so when you talk about saving time, it's really incredible with that. Yummy. Having pulled chicken that was delicious from frozen that mm. I popped in, and that was done in about 30 minutes. That's, you know, you, it would take that, that long just to defrost the chicken. Here I'm gonna do something a little different. Here I'm gonna do, this is actually called a- Red is almost sold out. Oh. I just got a little update from my boy Rob, who's up there, our, our uh, producer, and he just said, guy, we are down to like, I don't know, what'd you say, Rob, 150 or something like that? Oh, wow. 160, Red's okay. That's pretty, it really stands out in the kitchen. Um, you know, and the thing about this is you're gonna keep this on your countertop and you're gonna find lots of ways to use it because of its size. It's that perfect everyday size. It doesn't feel gloppy and large and, and getting in the way. It just feels like it complements your kitchen. So this is a pho. So, which is Vietnamese, um, it's a big deal now. Ramen and pho are the big deals. And you know 